morning everyone welcome to the morning devotion praying through the psalms my friends today we are praying psalm 76 psalm 76 is a psalm of asaph asaph was a singer and musician at the time of david and solomon's era this psalm celebrates god's great victory on behalf of his people some scholars would connect this to king sennacherib an Assyrian king, a powerful king, who invaded the kingdom of Judah, but God denied him the victory. God's angel fought this victory and killed a number of soldiers, and King Sennacherib was defeated in this war. The whole thing is given in Isaiah 36th and 37th chapter and 2 Kings 18th and 19th chapters. Now, the psalmist invites people to sing God's glory for the wonderful victory God gave them. Now let us read Psalm 76. Renowned in Judah is God, whose name is great in Israel. Here, the psalmist Asaph is inviting all people of God to sing and praise God and his glory. The terms Judah and Israel don't mean two kingdoms, rather all people of God. So here, the psalmist Asaph is inviting all people of God to sing and praise God and his glory. Next verse. And Salem is God's tent, his shelter on Zion. The word Salem is a kind of ancient term which refers to Jerusalem. In fact, the word Salem would rather mean peace. In Hebrew, the term Shalom would refer to peace. Here, Salem would mean Jerusalem. And Jerusalem is God's tent. His shelter on Zion. So, his shelter is temple. His temple is built on Zion. Zion is a kind of hill where on which the temple was built. Next verse. There the flashing arrows were shattered. Shield, sword and weapons of war. All this would mean the enemies. So, the enemies... Here, most, most likely, King Sennacherib, who came invading Judah, who came with powerful army, shields, swords, and weapons, but all of that were shattered, shattered by God. God defeated them through his angel. In the next three verses, the psalmist describes God's power, strength, and splendor. Terrible and awesome are you. Stronger than the ancient mountains, so here, the psalmist tells us that God is awesome, he is powerful, he is stronger than the mountains. Next two verses, we can find here, the psalmist describing God's power over the enemies who came to invade the people of Israel. Despoiled are the stout-hearted, the enemies. They sank into sleep. The hands of all the men of valor have failed. So now they have failed. Their strength is drooping. They have no clue what's happening. They have been defeated by God's angel. At the roar of God of Jacob, chariot and steel lay still. The chariots, they don't move. They are still. They, have, they cannot go further. So here, this is how, my friends, the psalmist is trying to describe God's strength, God's power, God's splendor. Next, the psalmist not only describes God as the most powerful, but also a God to be feared. So we need to have the fear of God. That's what the psalmist would advocate. And next, the psalmist also tells us that God is a wonderful judge who will uplift the afflicted, the oppressed. Here, the afflicted, oppressed are the people of God, people of Israel. You terrible are you. Who can stand before you and your great anger, O oh God? Who can stand before you? The earth, from the heavens you pronounced the sentence. The earth was terrified, reduced to silence. If God becomes a kind of judge, if God pronounced his judgment, who can stand before him? When you arose, O oh God, for judgment, to save the afflicted of the land. Here, God arose to uplift the people of Israel. So he fought the battle against 
the, the against Assyrians against the enemies so the enemies were totally destroyed the last three verses verse 11 12 and 13 surely the wrath of man will give you thanks the remnant of your furor will keep your feast here god judged the enemies the assyrians king shanacharib as wrong and so they got defeat they were defeated because god judged them wrong god judged people of israel the afflicted the oppressed right and so they were saved they survived the battle the angel of god fought this battle and gave victory to god's people and the remaining people the survivors will keep god's feast will praise god's name that's what he tells us the remnant of your furor will keep your feast they will keep your victory they will praise your victory verse 12 make and keep vows to the lord your god may all around him bring gifts to the one to be feared here the psalmist asaph advocating all survivors all people of israel to keep to make and keep vows to the lord and to bring the best gifts to the lord and to fear him so he is inviting all people of israel to bring gifts to make vows to keep vows to the lord finally the last verse who checks the spirit of princes who is fearful to the kings of earth so he is the psalmist is also inviting the princes the kings of the earth to praise god to adore god because god will observe everyone my friends this is how the psalmist asaph is celebrating the victory god gave to the people of israel renowned in judah is gad whose name is great in israel on salem is gad's tent his shelter on zion there the flashing arrows were shattered shield sword and weapons of war terrible and awesome are you stronger than the ancient mountains despoiled are the stout-hearted they sank into sleep the hands of all the men of valor have failed at your roar o god of jacob chariot and steed lay still you terrible are you who can stand before you in your great anger from the heavens you pronounced sentence the earth was terrified and reduced to silence when you arose o god for judgment to save the afflicted of the land surely the wrath of man will give you thanks the remnant of your fear will keep your feast make and keep vows to the lord your god may all around him bring gifts to the one to be feared who checks the spirit of princes who is fearful to the kings of the earth Now let us pray. Almighty our living God, we thank you. Thank you Lord for the gift of your son Jesus into this world as our savior. Thank you Lord for the gift of the Holy Spirit. Thank you Lord for the gift of this life, your gift, precious gift. Thank you Lord for the gift of our families, extended families. fellow human beings thank you lord thank you lord for the gift of this wonderful and beautiful creation 
thank you lord thank you very much now we thank you lord for this beautiful get together fellowship we are able to understand how great how wonderful you are lord you are the best church you are the just church who rule people with great authority with great might and power we are so happy you are our god you are our church lord may we conduct our life as by your law as by your guidance as we read and pray psalms today psalm 76 people celebrate your benevolence your power your kindness lord we have so many victories we have so many gifts you have given us may we celebrate your power may we celebrate your goodness in our life may we also be kind to one another as we celebrate this great benevolence from you watch all your people keep safe all your people especially those people who trust in you we have great confidence in you bless all your people who are connected to praying through the psalms series bless all the people all your wonderful people who make this program a possible thing possible one bless my team members bless their families keep them safe in your love lord help us to always love you thank you and praise you we ask this in jesus precious name amen my friends on behalf of my team my sincere thanks to you for being with us for praying with us kindly share this program with your friends and other people they could be part of this program and benefit as well kindly watch this program stay connected to jck creations see you next with some 77 until then stay blessed